All right, all right. We are going to do something different today since we have a, a hurricane outside, hurricane winds, well, tropical winds, and uh, we got our scooter, and we got our throttle replacements. So these just came in from uh, Apollo, and uh, supposedly these have a stronger spring in them, and they will not be stuck as they currently get stuck when you're using a throttle. So there's the throttle, and uh, there's the regen, the regenerative braking switch as well. Much beefier switch, it feels like, and uh, seems like the spring is definitely stronger. So we'll see how well this stuff works. Um, and uh, just take a look at it. But I'm going to try to do this on my desktop table here and uh, keep an eye on the chat window as well. So uh, if somebody does watch this and have questions, well, eh, I don't know if I'll answer them or not, but I'll try. So I got a couple tools here. I got uh, some Allen wrenches. Try to keep the video as good as possible. Screwdriver, some more Allen wrenches. Uh, just a couple different things here. But the first thing we got to do, we've watched the video from Apollo on how to do this. Um, looks a little bit involved, but we're going to give it a shot. So, uh, yeah. Here's the beginning stages. We got our Apollo. This is the, uh, the Apollo scooter right here. We got our big handlebars up here. We got our little extra handlebar that we've added in. Make this pretty cool. Um, the scooter's amazing. It's got suspension. I've got it on my stand here that I built just to be able to easily move it around. Uh, you can see the it's a beast. So this this stand has uh, been working pretty good. I have a lock on here too. I've got the lock here. I have a boomerang alarm as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, but per the video, first thing we need to do is to get these handlebar separated from the scooter. So we'll get started here and uh, try to figure this out. I may move the camera around a little bit different ways, but uh, I think I started here in the back and uh, excuse the gigantic mess of the workshop area. So yeah, you can see these are the original or the current throttle. And the problem is you press down and it doesn't come up all the way. You can see when I press down and let go, it looks like it came up all the way, but there's another quarter inch of movement, which means that that throttle is still providing juice to go forward. So that's the problem. Supposedly the spring in here is not, a strong, not strong enough um, for that. And just so you can see the difference in the two throttles. Here they are. So that's what we're taking off today and replacing. And supposedly it can happen on both sides. I have not had the problem on the regen side. It, it springs up okay, but we're going to replace both of them since I don't want this to become a problem. All right, let's get started. So we got to undo a few things that we've got on here. Take our nice little bag off. Set that aside. And we got to take the handlebars off first. We could leave them on the whole thing, but then it's kind of a pain to work on. So uh, we're going to take these off. I think it said it's four millimeter. We'll see. We'll see if anything's right. Oh, that is. And that was slightly loose, although it doesn't feel quite like four millimeters. It feels smaller. Let's 
but no, nope, maybe it is. And then we're going to try not to lose our parts today. Don't want to lose any parts. So these two screws just hold the um, handlebar to the stem. Set those aside. And now we're supposed to take off the brake lines. So let's take a look at moving the brake lines. Supposedly, they just unscrew. And it did say sometimes it could be tight, and you might have to loosen it up by the drum, uh, but hopefully we don't have to do that. Hopefully we have enough play in this to get it off without doing any more than we have to. Maybe. Looks like we're close. And really we're kind of pulling against the, uh, the line itself. That's far enough, but we'll come back to that one, see if we can get this one off. And yeah, we might have to go down to the drums or where the lines connect and loosen them up down there so we have some more play up here. So close. <laughs> oh, these get these are tight. Not much play in them at all. All right, well, it seems I may have to get down low and do some adjusting there. Let me see where these lines go to. Okay, just loosened this one up down at the bottom. Oh yeah, that made it a little bit easier to get it a little bit more loose up here. Ah, there we go. So that's what that was supposed to do. Get that to that point. And then this ball should come out. Oh, 
probably straight down. There we go. And we're dropping parts. Okay. So this was the ball, it was through this line. Look at me, just throw those parts around. So I did have to loosen up the uh, the lower portion to have enough play in this to be able to get it off. So uh, that's off. We'll slide that back in the way they did. There's one side. And we'll set this aside. Now the other side. I'm going to have to do the same thing on the bottom. All right, so I loosened that up. It's about a quarter inch of play down there. honest I could just have maybe held that there we go that was enough to get that one now we gotta get the piece turned around and pushed down There we go. This one's come out. And we'll just take that off so we don't lose it. Put this back in there. All right, so we got our two brake lines off. Two brake lines are off. The two screws that hold the handlebars in place are off. And uh, I think now we can just pull the whole handlebar off and then pop the data cable apart, which is straight inside here. Shadow, what's up? Ooh, look at that. The whole handlebar just comes right out. Got my data cable right here. Try not to drop it. And that just snaps, snaps apart. See the little cable there. And voila, we have handlebars separated now. All right, so we're gonna rearrange the desk here a little, move some things around. Watch the dolly do its job. Slide that back out of the way. Try to make it so you can see what's happening here. chair so I can sit down. All right, let's see what we're doing. We have a couple things to do now. So we've got this apart from the video I watched. We got to take these two screws out. Try to make some room here for all the parts and pieces and hopefully remember where they all go. So these two screws come out. They hold in some of the, sig uh, some of the 
display. Um, the grips are going to have to slide off somehow. There's also a small Allen piece right here in this little hole. It might be a little hard to see with the lighting. There's a little hole for a little Allen wrench of some size. We'll have to figure it out. Wasn't that one? It's pretty small. Not that one. To dig deep. Alright, so first off, I gotta take these grips off. I'm not really sure how to do that. Well, it appears as if you just manhandle it. And by that, I mean, you really got to put a little tension on there. So I might have to, uh, when I put these back on, I should have bought my replacements. I was going to get some replacement ones that look cool. But okay, that just slid right off. It's a little bit hard, but uh, I think when I put it back on, I'll put a little um, Dawn or something in there. We'll take the other side off. Hopefully, similarly. Yeah, it seems to be a little easier if you twist it and pull. Yeah, they didn't show this part in the video. I was wondering how they came off, but we're doing all right. All right, so we got our grips off, set those aside. Now we're going to take these screws out. Craig, thanks for the lurk and twerk. Doing a little repair here today. You like that lurk and twerk? <laughs> Alright, those are interesting little screws. They're kind of like... Uh, sheet metal screws almost. Took those two out. Now we're going to take out this uh, tiny little Allen. So we're going to go through some of our metrics, see which one it is. Probably the smallest thing I've got. Maybe not the smallest one, but let's see. All right, let's... Oh, nailed it. Perfect. Don't know what size this is. It's not the smallest one, which was 1.5. It might be the 2, 2 millimeter. unscrew this and really try not to lose this little set screw. It's always the smallest pieces that get lost the easiest. And it rolls. So, Alright, so I'm going to leave that Allen over there so I know which one it was. <coughs> Alright, so that should be all we need to get the display out. So at this point, we need to loosen up our brake handles, which are right here. And then there's another set screw for the throttle, both sides of the throttle assembly. So we're going to do the throttle first and the regen braking second. So we'll try to work this piece out. This is definitely a larger screw here. It's a good size. Alright, so the one on the bottom of the uh, brake, 
the screw right here is a uh, five millimeter. Ooh, and it's tight. Guess that's good. All right, we're just gonna loosen it up enough. We're not taking the whole thing out just to be able to kind of twist it. That's good. And then the other piece we're going to take out is the screw that's right in here, and that's three millimeter. And that's already loose because I was messing with it. And this is the solution that they had originally tried, which was just a washer on this which really was not uh, effective. Now, I don't think I have to take it all the way off, but it's going to slide off, uh, and this is going to slide off as well. So those two are loose there. Now, it says I should be able to just push gently up from the bottom to lift the display out, and the display is coming up slowly but surely this is the display right here that we need to get pulled out there we go it's starting to come up all right so i just pushed up enough to get a hold of it kind of see it's lifting up and there's a lot of wires in here, so I'm going to try to be real careful pulling all this mess out, which hopefully I can get it all back in. And all right, so we're going to untangle some of this bundle. Just so we can make our wires a little separated here and we can see what we've got going on because we have throttle control to each side which is the ones we're replacing and then there's also a brake there's some brake controls to each side all right so we separated those and we can see inside there's two There are two cables that go each direction uh, to the side. So now we can start to look at pulling this a little bit, see which one this is. It's a single cable, which I think is this one, going to the brake. So we have to cut this shrink wrap. Let's see the best way to set this might be like this to work on it so we're gonna have to cut the shrink wrap to both of these one goes to the throttle one goes to the brake and then separate this um, piece here um, yeah so what am I gonna use to cut that let's see we got a couple different options I don't have the little flat cutter that they uh, showed in their video but I got tools I'll try this first so the single one to the brake assembly I think is this one we're just gonna try to be careful a not to cut myself and B not to cut another wire that'd be tragic but I think underneath this is really just a connector. So we'll see. I think they called it a flat cutter or something. I guess if you worked with the shrink wrap a lot, you'd have that. I have some shrink wrap. 
amazingly from some drone stuff as I keep bumping into all the wires. Pretty close. All right, I think this one. All right, there's the old shrink wrap is off of that wire. And you can see we just have this connector here, which just pulls apart. Okay. So hopefully everything is color coordinated. This looks like a red, green, and black wire, three-prong wire. Let's see here. We're doing the uh, main power button and throttle. So we have what goes into the uh, three-prong red, green, and black, and a yellow, white, and green. Okay. We should be okay with the colors, with the colors. So we've taken one of these cables off and now it says once we've done that we should be able to slowly work the brake lever out and slide the cable out with it and yeah I feel the tension on the uh, that cable that I just separated and there's also some piece of rubber in here that might be in the way and once we get this pulled a little bit further out and we want to be careful not to get the cable itself attached or caught on anything so I've kind of just feeding the back into the cable as far as I could with my finger and we'll pull that up and we'll take this rubber there's a piece of rubber right here which I guess is waterproofing all right so that's looks like a symmetrical piece of rubber it'll go back in that way uh, hopefully we remember how that goes back in all right so that has Giving us a little more room to play here. We'll just fish this cable up, and now it's kind of coming through pretty easily. We've got this. Uh, this is the lock for the throttle assembly itself. So we'll just pull this a little bit further and see if uh, that cable doesn't want to quite come out totally. This is the little washer that was the original fix it didn't work but looks like our lever should be far enough to get it off the stem which it is and now now we need to look at we probably need to cut the other one because this is kind of caught in this spacer and the lock so we'll take that lock off which they sent us new ones for this but I will set it aside and uh, let's figure out the other cable that goes that direction flip it all back over so we can cut it as well next time we do it on the other side we'll just cut both of them at the same time but uh, all right so that's this this one that goes that way and it has interestingly okay because this is all right so two different things so we got the brake lever cable which is the one we clipped this um, we're keeping this we're not getting rid of this piece of it at all so that cable is going to stay and reconnect back up to the single cable single three wire cable the throttle assembly looks like it's got two cables which makes sense because here's the new throttle it's got two cables I thought 
earlier differently, but that is going to reconnect here. And just going to look at this when we pull this through. It has a similar red, black, and green connector, which is going to go there, and a white, blue, yellow connector, which is going to match up with a yellow, brown, white connector. So, But it's the two connector piece that's going to go to these two. So we need to keep these separated so we know these two go here. And I kind of want to do that with just a piece of electrical tape. Otherwise, I'm going to screw that up. So these two, make this a little bit smaller. These two here go to the throttle. I'll take that off. It's just temporary just to keep them so I know those two are the throttle. This one is to the brake. <laughs> All right, so we got to cut these the shrink wrap off again. off one what else would you do well there's a hurricane out I think our winds are gusting to like 40 miles an hour probably up here up on our balcony it's probably closer to 50 But thank goodness we're on the East Coast, not the West Coast. My friends out there, they've all uh, evacuated and come over to the East Coast side. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. I just read that. All right, those are our two shrink wrap connectors for the throttle assembly, the piece that we are actually interested in today. So we'll pull these apart. This is going to be amazing when it goes back together, if it's all correct. And looking at this, this cable has got to go back through the stem here. And uh, try to make it so that we don't uh, flip it back over. Don't mess it up. And I can see that my little brake line cable is, gets caught in this um, spacer so we're just kind of pulling them both out at the same at the same time so when we put it back together this spacer which goes on first I got to make sure we feed both cables through there's no way you feed that through after it's already um, disconnected well, maybe you could I don't know but it doesn't seem like that would be the easiest all right, so that's plenty of cable there. Throttle is coming off. Okay, there's the throttle. Here's the spacer. And then back through is the brake line. So here's the throttle and spacer. And now there's two connectors that come out with this and they both came out pretty easily. So we're just going to immediately reverse what we did. Try to put the knife away so we don't cut ourselves. So we're going to reverse what we did with the new one. So we've got the power. Here they are side by side. A little smaller thumb pad, but a little bit beefier piece here. Now, there is a screw to tighten this bad boy, or to get this back on, which is this new piece here. And it goes inside, and then there's access, I think, under this rubber gasket, which we haven't looked at the video. But 
yep, there's where that hole would be. All right, so throttle assembly goes through the spacer. New throttle through the spacer. Take the old throttle out of the way. Now, looking at that, that's right. Now the brake, we saw that these two pieces, in the video they said send this one through the thing first, otherwise it may not go through. Let's see, that's there, okay. Now the locking mechanism goes on the outside of this here, but we need to send the brake assembly wire through the throttle through the spacer, I believe. And then we'll be able to reattach some things here. Okay, there's the spacers back on. And we don't quite have this um, through correctly. Uh-oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Never like the uh-ohs. somewhere now. And we have our throttle cable came through there. Now we have to get the brake. Actually, before we do that one, I think we got to... <laughs> I uh, tried turning it off and on again. That didn't work. I was going to do a new reset. That didn't work. All right, so here is this piece that locks in the uh, locks in the throttle. So I got to put this back in here. It looks like it goes this way. We did see that this, this screw gets attached from the top here, and that should be right behind. Yep, right behind that. So let's slide this back on, and that goes right into there. Perfect. Okay, so we will. There it was. I was missing my screw. All right, so now we've got the throttle assembly cable is through. We've got to get this brake assembly cable now through, back through. And hopefully it will go in as easily or as straightforward as possible. There, it's starting to go in. This appears to need to be like this. But uh, we need to go in a little bit easier than that. Like it's getting caught on something. But 
maybe both of them at the same time will go in? I don't know. Let's see. Interesting spacing here, which we don't have a lot of. Yeah, the video's like, oh yeah, just slide it back in. Just slide it back through, not a problem. Just trying some different angles, let's see. Maybe I need to pull this one down a little. You know what I need to do? I need to stick some fishing line through there so I can pull it from the other side. But let's keep going first here. This definitely just hits something interior there, which is stopping it. Maybe I can put this on the bottom of the throttle one. trying to fish out the um, throttle cable and then see if I can put this underneath the throttle cable. That's not going through there very easily. I hate to tell people. But maybe we gotta pull the throttle out. Slide this further down and then pull them both together. So I've got that almost as far as the out as the throttle cable. Now maybe moving together it'll pull it in. A little tight getting the um, brake cable off. So maybe I can put a little, undo that clamp just a little. stab myself with the screwdriver. Oh, there we got that on. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. We're hoping that we get this cable bundle back in here. through as we slide them both. Okay. So 
and the throttle cable is still long enough it's already through. But what we're working on right now is getting the brake lever cable back on. You know what I should probably do? I should probably Okay, I'm just kind of wiggling it, pushing it through with the throttle cable. I might have gotten far enough. No, it's not quite far enough, but it doesn't look like it's getting bunched. So it's definitely going... Oh, and I think I'm starting to see it, yeah. So this is good. So it is through on the other side. So now, I think... We can kind of look at this. All right, so now we've got, this is our throttle cable, and here is the brake line. That one was a pain in the butt to get through. But it is what it is. And here's our throttle assembly. And that's gonna have to have a little bit of a bend in it. And then this is going to go there and get screwed in. And then we're going to keep pushing our brake cable through, which it is, thank goodness. And now I think we gotta get our screw in here to uh, lock down our throttle. Uh, let's see here. What is this one? Three millimeter? I think that's what the other one was. Yeah. So this three millimeter one is going to go into the opposite side. So that's going to go right in here of that little steel. You can probably kind of see it. See if we get this uh, screw in here and sorted. Okay, that's screwing in. So now I want to check where it's at and probably position it. I'm looking at the existing regen lever and where it is in relation to that. Okay, so that's probably good. Let's get it tightened down. I tried not to push it to throttle too far against this side because I didn't want it catching on that, which was part of the original problem, but not totally. All right, so that's tight. Oh yeah, look at that. That, oh, that's that feels good. Damn, that feels good. All right, so we've got our cables out. We're all the way through, that's there. We now need to uh, tighten back up our brake lever get it back. So I'm just looking at the alignment of it with regards to the other one. And this was our big. And this was on pretty tight, but uh, I don't know if it needed to be as tight as it was, but uh, we're just kind of making it in the alignment the same. And we'll just tighten it up. Put it on there, good, good, solid hand tightness there. Okay. All right, so that step is done, and we have our new cables through. 
for our new feeling good throttle control. All right, so now let's hook up our wires, redo these. And let's get this guy back out here. Now, this is where we can do a little shrink wrap. <laughs> Blue, that might be a little bit big. Let me see if I can get one of these over top of both of these. Yeah, that'll go over top of that one. Definitely doesn't need to be that long. So we'll cut that. Four shrink wraps. Set those back aside. We got our shrinking heat gun, which hopefully still works. Haven't used it in years. Evidently comes on. Let's see, how much of this do I need? I can cut that all the way to there. Maybe not quite so long. Yeah, maybe that'll be all right. Okay, so this is our double line and that one goes to the one we put the black electrical tape on so we would know which one went to what. Uh, the th this larger three prong is the yellow and white cable one which goes to this yellow brown cable one. If I recall correctly so goes like that snaps back in a little shrink wrap over the top let's get this sucker on hopefully this still works let's see oh yeah that's getting hot It's not like a waterproof seal, but it's uh, going to prevent it from uh, coming undone, that's for sure. All right, so now let's plug in our other cable. Let's take this black electrical tape off that we don't really need in the way. It might prevent us from getting it all back in there. If I can find the edge. Save that for the next one. And then this piece, we gotta get a little shrink wrap. I'm just gonna kinda use that as my measuring stick. So I make them about the same. Slide this on. I think we'll slide it on. Come on. Just got a little 
little sideways here. Don't get caught in there. Doesn't go on one way, slide from the other direction. All right, so that's The one we were using. And we do see, I'm starting to notice a difference here. Well, there was a difference in the connector. This one was red. I think that's just the one for the break. And the two were white, possibly for the throttle. Could be full of shit, but maybe that's uh, maybe there was some semblance of organization there. All right, let's shrink that on. Not the best shrink wrap. It's not really closing on the ends like I'd hoped, but whatever. All right, so those two are connected, and it's hot. Now we have this, which we believe is the brake line. I'm gonna un make sure I, I'm just going to kind of keep it untangled and reconnect it to our brake line. And we'll put another piece, a little, little piece of shrink wrap in. I don't know. Well, I mean, anybody could probably do this, but you got to have some tools, and you're gonna have to have a little bit of skill. It's not hard. But I don't know that any everybody could do this. Whoops, what's going on here? Okay, there's that's the line to the brake is going to this one. <laughs> All right, so we'll try to shrink this one up. All right, so that I think concludes the throttle assembly. And now we got to do the same thing for the other side for the regenerative braking switch. So we got to look and see where our cables are for that. Just like we did before. these out of the way this let's see okay so there's the double cable here's the single cable oh i guess there's a little little cable here which goes to looks like the light so we got our two cables here we're going to go ahead and pop the uh, shrink wrap off the all three of those and then we'll also tie up the um, the two that go together with a little um, tape so we know. And so let's do those two first.
now that we've done it once, it should be done in half the time, right? All right, shrink wrap off. If you're here in water, there must be a drain right outside our window. It comes down the side of the building. Because there's a lot of water draining somewhere. From the roof, from the sides. Alright, there's the shrink wrap off of that one. And we'll put our piece of tape on these two, just so we know. Separate it. All right, that's the regen th throttle connector. And now we got to get the brake line connector, which is this one. Okay, so this is uh, getting more understandable with all what all the wires are. enough to rip this all right last shrink wrap off brake assembly disconnected all right so now we've got just like before two cables one goes to the throttle unit brake unit the other goes to the brake itself. Now we're going to get to loosening up the brake. <clears throat> Hopefully this one's a little easier to put back in. Okay, that's loose. We need our three millimeter for the actual throttle. I think I put that original fix on this one too, so it's got the screw in the washer, which didn't do diddly. I think they knew they had a problem, but uh, had to do something to say they've addressed it but while they were working on the, getting these new ones figured out. Okay. So now we've got these two here. Got the brake sliding better. Throttle will slide at the same time. Make sure we don't get them caught on anything. This washer, and then there's that piece of rubber. Oh, yeah, that piece of rubber. Remember the piece of rubber for waterproofing? We're going to have to go back and put that on the other side. All we got to do is slide it off. Just unscrew them, slide them, and then put it back in. Um, yeah. And here's where that piece of rubber sits. right underneath the brake cable into there. All right, so we forgot a step. We would have had extra parts at the end. It's OK. Well, this one slides off much easier, though. The brake, the, uh, yeah, the whole brake assembly. So that just came off easy. This line's coming out. is almost almost out so 
something feels caught on the brake line, the connector. Fish this out of here a little. There we go. So that's our break. Throttle's coming off. And Spacer. Okay, so there's our spacer. Here's the old throttle assembly. Brake line. New throttle assembly. Which new throttle assembly is going to be that direction? And here's the spacer for it. So we are going to reverse. Lines through the spacer first. We'll slide that on. And then we have the line for the brake. I go through the throttle assembly. I keep calling it throttle assembly. I mean, it is same same type of switch. And try to straighten these up just a little bit. That's got to go there. And like we did last time, we are going to try to get this brake and throttle assembly fairly close with the wires so that as we push it through, hopefully, we can get it all through at once. <coughs> Maybe. Again, not the easiest part of this task. Maybe if I do it this way, if I fold one back, it'll go one at a time. That first one's larger. That's why I think it's having a little trouble. There we go. I think that got going. And then I'm going to put this brake one underneath the other one. I think that'll keep it from getting caught. It feels like there's threads in there or something. Looks like things are moving okay in there, but I need to get we're not through any part yet.
get that onto that edge there. And hopefully... Could feel a little bit of it. This one's getting caught up in there. Let me see if we can get the other one. Okay, the other one's through. So the throttle assembly is through. The throttle line is through. Now we need to try to get this this one in. Then again, maybe it should be easier to like tape it onto there just initially, because all that's got to come through. Right now, I've got them about the same distance. I wonder if I just tape that to there. Let's try that real quick. I'm just doing this because it gets caught in there. And I'll have enough of this to pull off when it gets to the other side. But just to see if it'll make it go through easier. Hopefully this tape doesn't get stuck in there. Feels like it's all coming. Come on. Okay, I'm at the taped portion. I'm at my whole wire. Ah, there we go. All right. So that was, yeah, that was easier to tape it. It kind of slid, but uh, that at least helped it get through. All right, let's get this cleaned up here. So that helped covering that up, uh, taping it to the original wire, feeding it through as one piece. That made that uh, go through a little easier. All right, so let's get these in their right spots. So we've got that. Oh, shite. You know what we do need to do though, do we have enough room to pull this back and get this rubber piece in here? The rubber piece went between the brake and the throttle. So I just don't want to pull it back too far. I'm keeping just a little bit of the connector here and pulling the brake back. And this rubber piece was shoved in here underneath that though. I've lost one of my little Allen wrenches. So the question is, can I get it underneath this without losing too much of that? Well, I can pull that out a little bit further. just needs to go on top of it. I 
think it went on top of it like that. Then I'm going to have to slide that cable further in though. shit. Now I've forgotten another piece, the locking mechanism. We are going to have to undo a few things and this may screw us royally because we have to pull this way off, the brake line all the way off to get this locking mechanism. Fuck's sake. There's that. Let's put this back on and please go back in. Okay, that cable's going through. That's good. Okay. Alright, so this... Uh, I did a few things backwards. Guess what? We get to do this. All over. Because we've got the spacer on the wrong way for the throttle, because that cable was not inside the spacer. The spacer's on backwards. Fuck's sake. So, good thing we didn't uh, glue anything on. But these cables have to come all the way out. All the way. Because this has to come all the way off and get reversed. Son of a bitch. Quite look at that one well when we pulled it. Oh, come on. There you go. Flip it and replace it because this spacer goes up against this, keeps it room for the cable inside. Now we get to redo. Let's see if these will go back in nice and easily for us. They've been there before. They know how to get there. This one actually I did this way, didn't I? bent it over, so it would be one at a time. Let me double check that I have the, uh, yep, okay, that's the right way. Stupid.
just to get that under the cable. I think. Come on, get in there. I'm not sure what's holding this one up. It's getting caught on this guy. Maybe I should go do it the other way. That's gone through. Feel the throttle cable. Again, the throttle cable comes through okay, but the brake cable is the more difficult challenge to get fed in. try taping it to it again. That seemed to work better. What a pain in the butt this is. This one goes through pretty easy, pretty easily for some reason, and this one does not. But you got the other cable in there. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like I did last time. It's pretty close to all the cable I've got, and then I'm going to tape it. Tape it a little better this time, though. 
doesn't slide backwards. go. That's a nice long piece of cable now taped on here. Hopefully that we can get this fished through better. It's interesting that the first two go through okay, but the other one with the cable in there just gets messed up. Oh, I think that was a success, at least partially. Okay, we got that part through. Try to pull them together. Seems like we're getting there. But you know what we've done again? We didn't put the locker, the locking bolt came off. Or I didn't get it on there to begin with. All right, we got the spacer, we have the throttle, the locking bolt, and come on. Okay, now it's going. All right, our taped end is going through. Now we need to see if we can put this rubber wash, rubber piece in as well. which I'm not all that concerned about. However, all right, let's take this off, tape off because it's now through, but it's in our way of getting it undone. So we have to move them separately to get the uh, rubber gasket back in. Some damn good electrical tape, and I can't find the, uh, can't get it to come apart. All right, so where are we? We got the throttle cable. We have the brake line cable. We're trying to now get this rubber gasket back in here without screwing the whole thing up here. So first things first, I think we go ahead and place the throttle where it needs to be and set the set screw in. Let's get that in here, three millimeter.
All right, let's line this up where it needs to be. Probably about there. right moves freely now cables fine this cables okay we're gonna pull this back out to put the rubber gasket so this is what we need to do on the other side too we just need to loosen the um, brake line a little bit and then get this rubber gasket back in here This rubber gasket's supposed to go all the way in there. Just gotta just kind of jam it in there. Push it in. I guess that cable can slide a little bit outside of it. Ooh, this is interesting. The bell housing is not going to fit over this throttle well. Well, maybe it will. But not by not much clearance there. That rubs on the rubber. Of this housing. I wonder if anyone has done this yet. With the, with the regenerative side. Okay, I got that all the way in. Oh, that's no good. That's no bueno there. That rubber is right up against that bell housing not without it's just the rubber that's in the way so if you cut the rubber off is there any kind of adjustment for this bell if you didn't have the rubber piece right there yeah, without the rubber, all right, when I pull the rubber back, there's just enough clearance because that's your bell. But that rubber covering is right up against the bell. So that doesn't work, and then it prevents this from moving. Now, what am I going to do about this? I would have to cut off some of that rubber to make room or have the brake back further off of it because it works fine. 
I don't know that anyone's put that on this side to see what that bell would do. I mean, for right now, I could take the bell off. The bell is nice, but it's not going to work on there. Right now, let's take the bell housing off. Because with the, without the bell housing on there, it should be fine. Something's not right with my cable right now. I don't have... Man, that rubber washer thingy stops the cable from sliding through at all. So that's supposed to be waterproofing to prevent water from going into here, going through the handlebar. But it sure is stopping me from getting this cable pulled in enough. I can fish it out a little bit. There we go. Probably enough. What a shitty little design here. That's pushes down against the cable, and then the cable does not move any further once you push that down. a little hole in there anyway, which I guess gets compressed. You know what? Those are going to stay out. I'll be able to slide it in from the side as far as it will go. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. So there we go. That's as far as that'll go. That's in as far as it'll go. The bell is not gonna bell housing is not gonna work on top of this mount here. Not without cutting some rubber off. Because it pushes too much against too much against the rubber of the throttle. All right, so we'll put it on without the bell. Where'd this washer come from? All 
I remember seeing something in the video about this little washer. And it just landed here. I don't remember it from the other side. But it may have come off the bell. Actually, it may have been a washer inside the bell. All right, so let's just tighten this brake handle back on about the same as the other one. at it actually angle this one down just a little bit more than this one because I know I got to screw this thing on up here so I'm going to adjust this one back a little bit there we go all right so where the heck are we now uh we got to shrink wrap those on we got to redo this rubber onto the back side of that. We'll do that last. Um, so we got to make the connections for this cable now. Jesus, what pain in the butt I made that into. Alright, so we've got our single line, our double line. Let's go ahead and attach the single one. We need our little piece of shrink wrap. Shrink wraps going over the one line that goes to the brake. Here's the single line that is for the brake signal that's screwed in. Shrink wrap over it. the one. Here are the two lines. Take off our electrical tape. Alright, these two go to these two, and the colors, like before, you may need a little shrink wrap, but the green, red, and black go together. Oh, I need some more shrink wrap. What did I do? Oh, because I needed three on each side. All right, heat shrink. I'm gonna call the green, red, and black the power cable. green, red, and black, the green, red, and black. Okay. Let's heat that on.
And then our last <clears throat> last cable. Heat this up. All righty. We have everything reconnected. that back up. The only thing we haven't done is put this other piece of rubber in. We'll do that now. And we're doing that this way. Just shoving it in from the outside. might have been in the video that I didn't watch the end of was how to get this back in but uh, I think that's we learned how to get it in there anyway all right so that's rubbers back in let's take a look here we've got a throttle assembly it's working good I might just double check that this is tight completely tight this was a three millimeter Okay, that one's good and tight. And this one. It's right there. And that's good and tight. Okay, so we got all that is reattached both sides feel good feel solid good return they're in correctly my bell is not and this is going to be the issue I'm gonna to have to ask Apollo on because it's the clearance right here between this gap and the rubber of the new throttle. If I put the bell on, I get the bell and screw it in. There's no longer a gap there and this will stick. Let me just screw it in so I can get that on video of how it sticks. Okay, there's the housing of the bell is back on the way it was supposed to be. And now you can see if I use the throttle, this is actually sticking against this bell housing. That's no bueno. Now if I take the rubber off of that, it won't stick. That's just the amount of clearance that's there not there when that bell housing is in. So I'm going to leave the bell housing off for now and find out what they say about that and try not to lose any pieces of the bell housing. As I take it off, I'll show you again, with the bell housing off you can see the gap there is just fine 
and this operates flawlessly and we can see visually the gap that exists there now there's nothing pressing against it and the regen side works just fine but that bell housing stops it all right so I need to put this bell housing and the little screw for it in something here and save this in my bag all right we're about to do the moment of truth I think we will I feel like we did pretty good I feel like it's gonna work right just put it all back together and hope for the best don't know if there's a trick to this but I'm just shoving it all back into the bottom of it as much as possible keeping it out of the way of these two bolts that go up into the top of this piece of cake look at that got it all the way back to there Our data cable still here I don't feel like we lost anything there so let's put our two flathead screw drive, screws back in there's one there's our second one and then there was a little our little set screw came out of this little spot Just goes into the top of the screen to just hold the top in. All right, that's hand tight. All right, back and reassembled. We have not put the grips on, but we will. But we're going to make sure that A, it works. When we plug this data cable back in, see if it makes sure it powers on okay. New throttles feel really good. All right, let's plug this bad boy back in. Camera motion, stand by. here at the business end of things and we'll try to get this all reconnected let's take a look at our data cable there's a little connector just line it up so you're not breaking any pins there's arrows on the outside of it snaps in this is where if you're enterprising and you want to stick in a uh, air tag or something you can stick that in there place that back got to put our two screws back in Before I get to attaching the brake 
cables. I'm going to make sure it powers on and looks correct. All right, so that's on good and tight. All right, let's see if we can elevate this a little. All right, here we go. Let's turn this bad boy on. We should be able to just hold this power button and get her powered up. Clean it off. All right, that looks like it's on. Uh, we are, we should be in a mode where we didn't have to, Okay, that worked. Uh, regen braking backlight is working. So, and the brake actually worked. Check the blinkers. Left blinkers working. Right blinkers working. Uh, this mode just turns on off the light, I believe. And there the light came on. Mode off. All right, I'm going to declare that success. Let's power off. And now we're going to work the cables back on for the brakes. All right, let's reposition so that we can get to these. And we can see what we're doing here. All right, so these things crossed over and we had these little bad boys. So we'll look at this one first. That goes, pull this thing out, we'll see this little setup here. This has to go up into there and then slides into the assembly, I believe. Hold it far enough. We'll just tighten this almost all the way back, but not quite. We're going to leave a little bit of adjustment. So that we can adjust it up here a little bit. Not much. I'll just leave a little bit. All right. That one went on easier than I thought it would. Here goes the second one. So you gotta push this, if you use your thumb, push that in uh, further than you think is how it needs to go to fall into the slot. So right at the end it needs to put, push a little bit further. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Try to get that lined up. That threaded right. Good. Uh, bring that set screw in about two millimeters of space. 
tighten it a little bit. Okay. Now I need to adjust the bottoms back to where I had done them before. And I'll show you that. So, let's see. Easiest way to see this. like that I think so this was the adjustment that I did and I really took out about quarter inch of screw here so I'm just pulling it tighter and then screwing it back in it was about a quarter of an inch sticking out but we're going to make sure that things are free. Yet the brake works. I'm just trying to feel where it starts to get the drum. So maybe a little bit more. make sure there's enough play in there so it's not riding on the brake and I'm applying just a little bit I've gone just a little too far and there's plenty of brake okay good that looks good for that one slide the dolly up Take a look at this one. The rear brake was the same about, about the same amount. About a quarter to half, quarter inch of bolt was sticking out of the end of this. So I'm just gonna kind of feel where that. That should probably be pretty good right there. Just make sure that the handle's working. Plenty of throw to get it all the way back to tight. Beautiful. Hey, Jumpy. Just doing a little repair on the old, on the new scooter. All right, I think we are done, except for getting those grips back on. So let's do that. That sounds like a faucet outside. All right, so we're going to put these grips back on. We put that rubber back in there. That's fine. So now, this was tough to get off. I might clean this off. Oh, I don't know if I want to get it too slick, though, because I don't want it to slide. Oh, actually, I'm just going to push it back on. Yeah, don't put anything on there, because if once if you put something on there, it's going to be way too slick. So it actually came off pretty easy. So I'll just do the other side the same way. Just kind of clean it off. Oh yeah, so now when I want to get new grips, I know how to, they just slide on and off pretty easily. All right, success. So,
here's what we accomplished. We've changed out the original throttle assembly, which the spring inside, the issue was that the spring is underpowered on the original uh, assembly and it was sticking when you tightened it on. So this, this was just a bad design because you had this immobile part, this part which screwed onto the, the base, um, just a bad, bad t tensioning design. So they uh, increased the spring tension and now you got a really good solid feeling throttle assembly here. Good buttons. The buttons are nice and visible now compared to what they were before because you couldn't even see anything. I mean, it's black. Much, much better, in my opinion. So I replaced the throttle piece on this side as well as on the opposite side is a regenerative braking throttle piece and assembly. So we've replaced both of these original ones. No longer necessary. We'll hold on to them though, backups, spares. But our one issue that we do need to find out about, and I'll keep harping on it for them, but that bell that's integrated into the brake lever. The bell housing just does not fit with the new throttle, the larger throttle assembly. The little bell housing that went right around here provided no gap and then was pressing against this so that when you push down, if I put my finger there, I can hold it, but it was causing that problem there and nothing incorrectly put on right there. So just the size. I don't know if they've they actually tested that with that bell housing in there, but you can always get a different bell somewhere else, I guess. Maybe up here. It's kind of integrated into this piece, so that one's basically just take this one out and toss it. Makes a click. Not a ding, but oh well. All right, we are done with the scooter work for today. I'll have to take it out after things dry up out here in Florida and uh, take it for a spin. All right, that's it. I'm going to close off the stream and go play some games finally thanks for watching thanks for the follows thanks for sharing we'll see you later coast out